Welcome to our channel Statisticians Sub. Today we will be learn the feeding of Poison distribution in Python programming. First of all, I am Priyakta Sekya from Department of Statistics, Assam University, Silchar. Before going to the feeding, we must have to know what is Poison distribution. So, Poison distribution is a discrete distribution in distribution theory. If we denote the random variable, capital X is the number of events occurring in a fixed interval, the probability mass function of the Poisson distribution is given by probability of capital X equal to small x, it is equal to e to the power minus lambda, lambda to the power small x divided by small x factorial, where small x is the number of events occurring in the interval, lambda is the average rate of occurrence of events in the interval, and E is the base of natural logarithm and it is approximately equal to 2.71828. And in a Poisson distribution, the mean and variance are both equal to the parameter lambda, which represents the average rate of occurrence of events in the given interval. Now, we take an example for fitting. We have here counts and frequencies, as you can see in the screen. Uh, so, let's move to the pie chart for fitting. Now in pie chart as you can see on the screen this is the code which you will use for fitting the distribution. At first we have to type import math and import matplotlibrary.py plot as plt. Next we enter the data which I have shown in the previous slide. Now for calculating lambda for Poisson distribution we have to enter this code as you can see on the screen this is the code for calculating lambda. Again for calculating PMF of Poisson distribution we have to type as define Poisson that's probability of x comma lambda and then we enter the return function and PMF of the Poisson distribution. Now for calculating expected frequency we have to type capital N equal to sum of frequency and expected frequency. Next coming to the code for plotting we first we type plt.figure and here we take the figure size as 10 comma 6 and in the plotting we take the marker equal to O, line style equal to solid, line width equal to 2, marker size equal to 8 and we take the different colors for observed versus expected frequency as red and black. Next in the X level and Y level we take it as count and frequency. Uh, after that we give a title as observed versus expected frequency. And lastly, we have to type plt.legend and plt.show for showing the graph. Now, we will run the code. Here, uh, you can see this is the figure of observed versus expected frequency. And here you can see the red line is observed frequency and the black line is expected frequency. And here in the x-axis, this is the count and in y-axis, this is the frequency. So, in this way, we can feed the Poisson distribution in Python. Thank you so much for watching my video and do like, comment and share. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for getting new interesting statistical videos. So, thank you so much.